Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Gage. I'm super excited. This week, we've been waiting quite a long time for this, but this week, the NTH 2K1s, otherwise known as the XL subs, finally came in, and I began shipping all of the ones that people committed to on the wait list. But let's back up just a second. So for the last three or four years, NTH has been killing it with the NTH subs. You guys obviously know that. I've been doing a great job with them. Vale has been hitting it out of the park with all the designs and consistently he and I would get asked all the time you know hey I love the NTH subs however I like a bigger watch when are you gonna do a larger version of the subs so Chris put the plan in motion probably about a year ago to actually go forward with it and after all this time they finally came in so this is a close look at the NTH 2K1s as well as a side-by-side -side of the 2K1 along with the original NTH subs and before we get into the specs of the size of the watch and all the details, let's just look at which models are available. So there are two individual models and a couple of variations of each model. First, there's the Swift Shore. The Swift Shore is going to be the one easily recognizable by the oversized 3, 6, and 9 on the dial. The versions of the Swift Shore are the black, the blue, the white, and then there's a DLC version of the black. Most of these models, with the exception of the Swift Shore Blue, come in a date and a no date. The Swift Shore Blue only comes in a no date version. The Thresher keeps it more simple with just markers on the dial and no numerals whatsoever. The hands are quite a bit different as well, and the Thresher is available in black and blue, both in date and no date. Now there are definitely similarities between the NTH subs and the 2K1s. So before we get into the differences, let's look at the similarities. The case is top grade 316L stainless steel. The crystal is a double domed anti-reflective sapphire. The bezel is still a 120 click unidirectional bezel. Top grade PVD slash DLC stainless steel insert. The movements are gonna be the same. In the date version, it's a Miota 9015. And in a no date version, it's the 90S5. All of the loom on the 2K1s is a Tri-Tech Swiss Super Luminova BGW9. The biggest differences are obviously gonna be the size. Again, we wanted to address those people who love the style and design and the idea of NTH, but simply wanted a bigger watch. The diameter of the watch at the bezel not including the crown obviously, is 43.75 millimeters. The case itself, however, is actually one millimeter smaller in diameter, which gives a nice overlap on the bezels for easy gripping and use. Keeping true to NTH diver form, the 2K1s are very thin considering the size of the watch. They're 13 millimeters in depth with a 51 millimeter lug to lug. Now a couple things to talk about when it comes to the size of the watch. I personally really love the sweet spot of 40 to 41 millimeters. And I don't love a very thick watch, and that's me personally. And when somebody says to me it's a 43 or 44 millimeter watch, in my head I'm almost thinking right away, it's going to be too big for me. But I think because this watch is only 13 millimeters in height, it actually wears extremely well on my 7.25 inch wrist. So my wrist is only a seven and a quarter, and this watch honestly does not feel like an oversized watch to me by any stretch of the imagination. In addition to that, I did start shipping out the watches, I think four days ago, and I usually ship FedEx two day to uh, those of you domestic here in the United States, and I've already got a ton of feedback from guys who said, look, I was a little bit concerned about the size of the watch when I ordered it, but I knew you'd take it back if I didn't love it, and I have to tell you, John, it's it wears perfectly on you know my wrist. And these are from guys who typically don't love a watch any 42 millimeters. So with regards to size, it does have a diameter feel to it, but it doesn't have that real big, chunky, thick, heavy dive watch feel. So I think that Chris really nailed it with regards to uh, getting the bigger size, but also not making it feel like a big can of tuna is sitting on your wrist. 
The other really big thing that I feel is a big difference between the original subs and the 2K1s is its depth rating. The 2K1s are water resistant to a whopping 61 ATM that translates to 610 meters, which also translates to 2001 feet. They achieved this with very high specs on the watch with the help of a helium escape valve. And just like the NTH subs, the warranty is a six year warranty. Now here's some rolling comparisons side by side of a 2K1 along with an NTH sub, the 40 millimeter sub, just so you guys who do own subs can see the difference side by side. So there you go guys, after uh, quite a long wait, I know it's been teased out on social media and in the forums and other places for quite a long time. The 2K1s are in stock. I've shipped a ton of them already. And on a side note, the Devil Rays, this is my personal one here, the brand new Devil Rays are getting low in inventory already. The blue version completely sold out. I've got some black and some white versions left. Quick note, the black dial version one is really like a dark gunmetal gray where the white one is a bit of a silver one. Both of those appearances come with the sunray pattern that's on the dial and the way it picks up light. So you've got the black version and the white version. I've got a handful left, but they are selling out quickly. So uh, I don't know when you're watching this. Right now for me here in New York, it is almost four o'clock on a Friday afternoon. So if you're watching this relatively soon after I post it, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Go jump on those Devil Rays, the 2K1s uh, here in the United States, especially here in the North Northeast. The leaves are starting to change. Hopefully it's gonna be a beautiful weekend out. Get outside, get some fresh air, and I wish everybody the best. I thank you all for everything, and we will talk to you soon.